Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Pratamesh Naik. I'm from Goa Medical College, and I'm going to present the case of mycotic aneurysm. Uh, introduction, the infected aneurysm or mycotic aneurysm is defined as an infectious break in the wall of an artery with formation of a blind secular outpouching that is contiguous with the arterial lumen. Non-treatment or delayed treatment of the infected aneurysm often leads to fulminant sepsis, spontaneous arterial rupture and death. Earlier detection of infected aneurysm is critical for time timely treatment to optimize the patient outcome. Coming to the case report, a 45-year-old man with no significant prior medical history presented to Goa Medical College and Hospital with complaints of non-radiating, non-specific low backache with an insidious onset over the past one week. Patient also complained of bilateral fetal edema in last five days. Patient did not complain of fever, chills, or rigors. No other clinical, significant clinical history could be elicited. Physical examination revealed a temperature of 98.4 degree, pulse rate of 90 beats per minute, respiratory rate of 18 per minute, and a blood pressure of 110 by 60 mm. The heart rate was regular without a murmur, lungs were clear, abdomen was soft, non tender, without any organomegaly. The neurological examination was normal. The lower limbs, however, had bilateral fetal edema. Lab parameters are as follows. The hemoglobin was 8.5 gram, the hematocrit was 36%, platelet was 1.2 lakh. Total leukocyte count was 32,000 and serum creatinine was raised, which was 5.8 milligram. Uh, serum urea was 19 milligram. Microscopic analysis of the urine showed 18 erythrocytes to 46 leukocytes and 99.8 bacteria per high power fit. The bilirubin levels were 3.2 with a direct fraction of 2.4 milligram. Uh, SGOT was 39, SGPT was 59, and ALP was 325. The serum albumin was 2.4 grams and HVA1C was 14, whereas the procal, serum procal was 12.9. Uh, echocardiography revealed mild left ventricular systolic dysfunction with a ejection fraction of 45%. Uh, CT was performed, uh, plain CT was performed after giving per, uh, per oral positive contrast. It revealed an iso to mildly hyperdense lobulated structure in the retroperitoneum in relation to the infrarenal outer. The soft tissue collection with air globules and retroperitoneal fat stranding was also noted adjacent to the structure. This retroperitoneal collection was seen in close proximity with the bowel loops anteriorly and air cocci was seen tracking along the left psoas muscle as well as in the inferior vena cava. The contrast enhanced CT scan was performed after taking the uh, high risk consent. It revealed a large bilobulated pseudoaneurysm on infrarenal abdominal outer with a defect along the posterior wall. However, there was no extra position of the contrast and there was no thrombosis within the aneurysmal cell. Coming to the image, this is the plain CT with per, uh, peroral positive contrast. Here, uh, reveals an iso to mildly hyperdense structure in the retroperitoneum that is surrounding retroperitone uh, retroperitoneal soft tissue collection. On contrast enhanced CT, we see uh, aneurysm of an aorta with surrounding soft tissue collection and air globules. The sagittal reconstruction shows a defect along the posterior wall of aorta with mycotic aneurysm. Coming to the discussion, uh, mycotic or infective aneurysm are localized irreversible vascular dilatation. They're caused by weakening and destruction of the vessel wall. They're caused by invasive organism. Uh, so it becomes like an infective arthritis. Due to effective and prompt antibiotic therapy, their incidence is rare, but potentially life-threatening. The term mycotic derives from the mushroom-like appearance of the aneurysm and not their underlying microbiological etiology. They may arise through the hematogenous route lymphatic roots, contiguous extension, and direct inoculation. The patients usually often present with non-specific complaints, the most common being febrile illness with insidious onset, general malaise, weight loss. Diagnosis of mycotic aneurysm relies on contrast enhanced autography. CT scan reveals a secular or multilobulated aneurysmal sac. There may be vertebral erosions. Uh, in case of uh, aortic wall rupture, contrast exacerbation will be noted with thrombus formation within the pulse lumen. Uh, mycotic aneurysm carries a high mortality. Prompt treatment should be initiated using a combination of intensive broad spectrum antibiotic therapy alongside surgical repair. Based on microbiological results, further modification in antibiotics may be performed. The goal of surgical repair are to confirm the diagnosis, achieve microbiological source control and to prevent or contain the rupture and hemorrhage and reconstruct the arterial tree. The medical therapy alone is associated with poor outcome. Although antibiotics may control the sepsis, they do not reduce the risk of rupture of the weakened vessel wall. 
The surgical management of infrarenal aorta can be accomplished by proximal or distal arterial ligation. Endovascular repair is well established for non-infective aneurysm, but persistent infection is a strong, strong predictor for long-term uh, mortality. Uh, con coming to the conclusion, mycotic aneurysms are rare but universally fatal without appropriate management. Diagnosis and surveillance remains clinical challenges and CT angiography is currently considered the modality of choice. Surgical or endovascular intervention alongside intensive antibiotic therapy remains definitive treatment, although patient must be assessed case-to-case -case basis. These are my references. And I want to thank uh, CityBus for uh, giving me this platform to present this case. And I want to thank everyone for patient listening. Thank you.